what it be, what it do. It's time for a down the crop tutorial on how to rice out your void Linux box. Uh, this link to this GitHub gist, which has a bunch of useful links and stuff, will be in the description of this video. You're going to need these to speed everything up. So, this is just a fresh installed XFCE image of void. So, step number one we're going to switch to Openbox. We need this guy. Open box. We're going to install the packages basically one, be one by one so that I can explain what they're doing, but just install open box, sign out. Hopefully you have a session manager. If not, you can mess around with your X init RC to change what session you're opening, but now we're in an open box session. A lot of these menu items don't really work because this is not a dynamically generated menu. We'll get that fixed up. Uh, so just open whatever terminal you have. If it's not listed here, then uh, just install Xterm or something and then hop back in. You don't have to modify everything in OpenBox, but just is easier to explain things in here. So. Uh, we're going to install git as well, because there are a couple links that we need. Speaking of links, let's go get them. The first one that we need is the actually the one at the bottom here. This is the theme collection for Openbox. Let's come down to the bottom. There's a a command that'll clone it into the themes folder for openbox automatically. Let's run that. Openbox doesn't come with its own theme configuration tool, but there is one called obconf that we're also going to grab, so grab obconf. Let's launch that up with obconf. The theme that I was using was this one. And I like to go to Appearance and get rid of the title and the icon, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. There's screenshots, obviously, of a couple different setups going through here, but do whatever you like, whatever you think looks good. This one looks good, uh, good too. Let's actually go with this one. We're going to fix up these menus, like the GTK and QT stuff looks very X defaults because it is. So we'll get that fixed up as well. So that's step one done. We got a better looking menu. Number two, uh, we're going to get the bottom bar and get a wallpaper going because it just looks better like that. Install nitrogen is the wallpaper engine and tint2 is the bar that I'm using. You can substitute these for whatever you want. There's uh, These are pretty trivial programs that there's a million and one versions of. The reason why we're installing them at the same time is because in dot config open box we want to edit the file called auto start. This doesn't exist by default, you just have to make it. Uh, and we're going to do tint2 and nitrogen restore. These are just run every single time that you start a session, so you don't have to open things up and reset your session every time. You can have that all done automatically. So I'm going to grab my wallpaper as well, and then we'll set that and log back out and back in. Grab this, I'm going to save it to my photos. Launch up nitrogen just by tapping nitrogen. Add whatever place you store your wallpapers at. Set it up. I'm gonna log out and log back in. And you'll see, whoa, we got a bar and a wallpaper automatically. Amazing. So now we're going to rice out the bar a little bit. Go back to the gist. What we want now, come on, 
open box doesn't want to scroll or uh, virtual box doesn't want to scroll properly. We're going to grab some themes from the Tint 2 theme collection. These aren't my repos, they just are nicer with all consistent names, so I just copied them. We're not going to be able to run this guy's command perfectly, so we're actually just going to uh, run this. Since we already installed it, this is not going to... Well, here, let, let me just show you. It's going to say the path already exists. So I'm just going to remove that uh, config tint2, and then I'm going to run that again. You're not losing anything important, don't worry. And then, if you go through some of these pictures, choose whatever you, one you want. I think the one that I like is called Minima. This guy here it's, it just adds a little bit of color on the bottom, so that's the one that I'm going to use. I'm just going to copy that directly onto Tint2RC, the uh, the file that it checks when it launches up is just called tint2rc uh, located here in your home folder dot config tint2 so I'm just gonna do a copy of uh, minima minima tint2rc into config tint2 tint2rc and now when we log back out, you could just restart the application as well, whatever you like. Whoa, look, look how much prettier that is. Amazing. So now let's get a nice looking terminal. So look at this. Who wants a terminal that looks like this? How boring. Uh, we're gonna grab something called URXBT, which is a pretty customizable terminal. Only problem with it is that it doesn't have right-click paste support, so you might get uh, screwed up by that. It's Alt, uh, Control Alt V to paste things and Control Alt C to copy things, which I'm telling you because it's a pain in the butt if you don't know how to paste commands into a terminal window. It's named kind of funny. RxVT doesn't just grab it for you, so what we want is uh, this here. This is what we want. You need. You should just be able to uh, type RxVT, but it's uh, RxVT Unicode. So install this. This comes looking exceptionally bad. Very bad, very X defaults. So we're going to get some themes for that as well. These are also in the gist. Look down through here. The one that I'm going to use is called Calm Girl, right at the very bottom. These ones you don't copy through uh, Git. You just grab the actual raw text. You're going to be adding this to uh, X defaults with an S, not X default, but X defaults. Now, if I open up another one of these, it's gonna look funny because I don't have the font installed that it likes in the theme. You can change this if you want. I'm just gonna use the default font because it looks fine. Close this, open up another one. Whoa, look at that. Here, let's install NeoFetch so that we can get this for a second. NeoFetch. Whoa, look how cool that looks. Amazing. So we're almost done. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we're already almost done? Unbelievable. We're going to theme the GTK and QT applications. So we're going to do that with, uh, let me just do query breeze. I think my favorite 
theme for most stuff is Breeze. Breeze kind of like gets everything uh, unified. Unfortunately, the Breeze package includes a lot of shit that you don't need, but uh, we're just going to install that. It's just Breeze. This is from uh, KDE Plasma. Just, just chill. It's going to take us a while because it's a pretty big download. Size required on disk. Let all these guys download. While we're at it, uh, just to save a bit of time, one of the things that I really like, this is not my hack, this uh, is a hack by uh, Jason Cavett. Good work, Jason. But one of the problems with OpenBox is it doesn't have AeroSnap, which if you're on Windows, let me just pop this into Windows view. Uh, ooh, he's on a Windows host. I really like using AeroSnap features, like snapping my windows left and right. So uh, you can do that, but you got to just add this in the keybind section of... Uh, of open box, so I'm gonna do that. Open box. It's called rc.xml. Uh, keybind is the section that we want to be in. Keybind for desktop switching. Paste this in. I don't think that it automatically reloads. Uh, give it a second. That, that will have worked. That will have worked, but we have to uh, reload OpenBox. Oh, we configure OpenBox. Look. This is very useful. It's a quality of life thing. Breeze, it's almost done. Look at that. Look how well we used our time there. We we saved nearly an hour of our lives, I think. Close to it. Alright, so we got Breeze. My favorite configuration thing for uh, unified themes for GTK and QT is called LX Appearance. I think that it's just LX Appearance. Uh... DPS query LX appearance. I probably just spelled appearance wrong. Appearance. Okay, I'm just going to go with this. And icon theme, breeze, breeze dark. Let's go with that. Mouse theme, that looks good. Regular breeze. Uh, the file manager that I use is called PC Man FM. Super tiny, lightweight one. I think that this should be in file managers. Look how nice he looks. Uh, and an example of everything being themed properly too. It's, look at him. He looks perfect. What else do we need? Is that everything? Uh, oh, fixing the menu. That should be something that we do too. This is called uh, OB Menu Generator. I believe is his name. A fast menu generator. Install OB menu generator.
Uh, I think that it tells you how to do it to OB menu generator. Help. Invalid. P generate dynamic menu. Absolute path. Common schema. Uh, P? Is it just P? That'd be the guy. So OB menu generator dash P. Now I just have things that uh, are actually installed in my system. All of this stuff is actually usable now. Uh, anything else? Let's see here. Just trying to think if there's anything that I missed. Look how nice that is. Ooh, it's themed with the system. Whoa! Everything should be good. Um, one additional thing that I've added to this, there are some things that you'll mouse over, like wine programs and stuff especially, that if you have a themed mouse cursor, it's not going to work properly. So the way that you do that is by adding uh, the mouse cursor in this file here. You can find out more about that. That's a pretty uh, uncommon use case scenario, but... Dude, look! Look how riced out it is! It's perfect! You can change your default terminal to this, uninstall a bunch of things, but... Whoa! Beautiful. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace.